Hey guys, this is HD Skieski. I'm here with HD on the pregame show or whatever it is you call it. But yeah, we just witnessed a total one-sided slaughter fest at the hand of White Raw. What do you think about that game, HD? Wow, White Raw completely pulling out a double Void Ray Rush out of only one Stargate. Hit that Stargate in the corner of his base in Lost Temple, and Jinro never saw it coming. He pushed out at the same time the Void Rays were coming in, and he never had Marines to defend against those double Void Rays. Yeah, he was way out of position, completely one-sided. By the time he fell back, it was already too late, and he there was a ground army able to clean up that mess. So we'll see if he can kind of recoup himself and go into game number two. I believe they chose Steps of War, which a lot of players have actually been choosing. So here we go. Yeah, one thing I do want to mention is that I think that General might be a little bit off his game after getting rushed so quickly by those Void Rays. I think he might be just a little bit out of his mind, and that's a big thing, momentum in StarCraft. So definitely keep an eye out there for that as we move on to Steps of War. And once again, iRip, great application. Make sure you guys check it out. Anyone who sponsors this kind of tournament is awesome, so definitely go support them. Alright guys, this is HD and I'm here with Husky. We are back for game number two in the HDH Invitational. It is White Ra versus Jinro. Last game, White Ra actually taking Jinro out with a very, very simple Void Ray rush. Jinro did not expect it, built Siege Tanks, the completely wrong unit, went for a timing push, that failed, and then all hell broke loose and he lost the game. I think this game, he might be thrown off his game a little bit. I would definitely be, especially if you're a Terran player, being thrown off by getting killed by Void Rays, because Void Rays are good in Protoss versus Protoss and Protoss versus Zerg, because mm -hmm. you can really take people by surprise. Usually not that good against Terran, because you get those Marines out, which right. pretty much straight up countered, and they're dirt cheap. And so White Raw, I'm really surprised to see him go that, but it worked out, so he is going to be up 1-0. He didn't choose this map, but I've actually noticed so far as this tournament continues, the loser a lot of times has actually picked Steps of War, so I think that most players are probably comfortable with this map right. but we'll see if general has some crazy map specific build lined up uh, I'm sure he does being the player that he is general right here checking for proxies already with that SCV he wants to know right now what is going on I, I don't want to get proxy the, the probe moves in right now so he knows that he's probably safe but he already checking out so you guys can tell that he's definitely thrown off his game he doesn't want anything bad to happen to him early on nothing fishy and he really you know he I think this can really affect his game plan. Absolutely. I mean, scouting around for a proxy, there's two reasons he's doing that specifically like he did, invested so much time in that, is because, number one, Steps of War, known for rushes because the rush distance, I say this every game, but it's absolutely true for this map, it's probably got the shortest rush distance of every map of all time, except for maybe Bloodbath, but other than that, and also, White Rot is known for doing proxies. I mean, he just straight up loves to proxy, and so I think Jinro is wise. He's done, you know, his little bit of research. He knows how White Rot plays. And so he is scouting around for that. But right now, White Raw looking to be just playing standard here. He does do the typical build where you get your second pylon while your gateway's on the way. Also going to grab that early gas. So he's not going to do any sort of two gate super rush. Although he's trying to kill an SCV over here, not going to quite be able to do that. And then one thing I want to note is scouting probes extremely effective in StarCraft 2 now because once they're out of combat for a little bit, look how fast their shield regen. So he'll yeah. probably go in there and ask for, ask for a little more action. But I don't know if he'll kill anything. Um, well, he is auto-attacking that SCV right now, which is very nice. You can auto-attack SCVs that are constructing, but it is going to get pushed away by this Marine coming out of the racks. One thing I want to say is, why does Jinro build his base like this? He, he likes the SimCity aspect where he kind of just builds everything around his mineral line, which is fine. But I, I question, doesn't that leave your ramp exposed and open and lets your opponent just kind of walk up in there? Yeah, and Jinro actually tried to do that against White Raw before where he was trying to walk up the map. But yeah, both players are leaving their base wide open here. Even looks like, no, maybe another possible hidden tech over here. I thought he was looking for proxies. I would not be surprised if White Raw hides something back there again, even another Stargate. But we're going to have to wait and see here. Right. As Jinro, though, I don't think he has anything too crazy going on. He's getting his factory again. So possibly going to go a similar build here or move into kind of starport play. We'll have to wait and see, though. But like you said, his SimCity is pretty good here. As long as he can defend his workers, 
markers and a defend from the units getting into his mineral line. He should be okay. One Zealot trying to make something happen over here, but he doesn't have any kills. That is going to get pushed back. Yeah, the Disciple is going to fall back from these Marines right here. We do have a pretty decent number of Marines. I wonder if maybe General might be overproducing on those Marines just a little bit. But of course, if uh, it looks like a Stargate's coming out. So the Stargate hidden tech yet again where that pylon was at. So I guess maybe he it's a good idea he does have Marines. It looks like Whitera is going to go for the same exact build again. And I, I don't know if it's going to work as well on this map because you the way that Jinro has placed his base so tucked in and contained as long as he doesn't throw his marines out to the other side of the map and he keeps his marines there he should be able to defend against the void race actually getting a hellion just in the nick of time as there is a push here from white rod the hellion is going to be able to do a lot of damage to these few zealots right here although the marines taking more hits than they should as they're trying to book it all the way across like we said his building placement forcing him to have to run back into his base as i think he will be able to clean this up though a couple of zealots were able to kill several SCVs there that stalker probably going to get out of there in no time and even got to try and kill a couple Marines here as he is going to be microing away here and I think he should be able to get away although he's such so low on HP that the Hellion may be able to kill it I do want to mention that there is a tech lab add-on and Thor will surely be here hopefully I can say it if if the game does last long enough for me to say that but it is on the way and the Hellion trying to get in there for harassment but look at the control there from Whiteraw guarding this huge ramp with just one stalker and he is going to be playing pretty safe right now yeah one thing I do want to mention like you said comps not going down but Right there on that attack, White Rod did what he needed to do. He actually killed a couple SCVs, like you said. Looking at the unit overlay tab, 27 probes to 27 SCVs. Income-wise, uh, White Rod is ahead, 740 over 660. And now the first couple Void Rays are coming out. I believe it was Chrono Boosted. Is that SCV on the map going to see the Void Ray? I'm not sure if that's even... Oh, it's a Hellion. Yeah, it is going to see the Void Ray. And now... Jinro knows that there are Void Rays coming, so he's going to be able to keep his Marines in critically. And he's also got a Thor. Thor not that great against Void Rays, unfortunately. But he's going to keep his Marines in his base, not going to allow the same thing to happen this game. Oh, uh, maybe not. He's going to push out. I think he's going to go for a game-ending maneuver here, even with some SCVs. I think he was trying to intercept that Void Ray. Unfortunately for him, there is going to be the ground army to back it up. Right. And like you said, Thors don't do that much damage to the, the heavy armored units in the air like a Void Ray. But it looks like Jinro is going to commit to this. He's got three SCVs brought off the line, so he wants to make Make something happen. I guess I have to say Thor is here outside of White Raw's base, and so already losing one SCV. SCVs only have 45 HP in StarCraft 2, so you really have to fight <laughs> to keep them alive, pretty much. And so what he's gonna try and do is probably repair this, and he's gonna try and end it right here. This is a very early timing attack. Right, he's going, I think, almost like all in. This is pretty much I'm wondering why he didn't pull more SCVs off the line, but here's the bad part. The Thor getting focused by the Boydrains, and the Marines are falling back and not being where they need to be and unfortunately not the right unit composition and just not enough uh, to deal with those stalkers, zealots, and void rays. And now uh, Jinro is going to be forced to fall back and I think he's in a very, very bad position right now. I think he even tried to do that timing push because like I said, he feels like he's been thrown off his game so he just wants to try something, anything to make it happen. And unfortunately he has another Thor, but I just don't know if he's going to be able to hold this off because those Void Rays do so much damage against those heavy, heavy, massive Thors. Ideally what you wanted was the Marines to be shooting the Void Rays and the Thors to be shooting the Tier 1 ground units, but really that didn't quite work out. He is going to repair this as quickly as he can. Is Yeah, he's actually shooting the air units, not the best choice because it actually <laughs> can like one shot this, some of these ground units. And there we go, that is going to be that. So Jinro is in bad shape, he leaves the game, and so that is going to be that. So Waira able to advance into the round of eight and we'll see who his opponent is as the brackets are consolidated but either way Jinro knocked out and that is that I think we have another series of Noni versus Moonglade coming up shortly after this so please stay tuned and thank you guys for tuning in to our live stream as well as for watching it on YouTube and so that's that anything you want to say yeah thanks a lot guys make sure to check out our YouTube channels Husky Starcraft and HG Starcraft with YouTube right before that and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next game in the HDH